What's going on YouTube? It's Giga here bringing you some more Series 9 Wi-Fi Battles with live commentary. Once again, we are using Lexicon's Regigigas Weezing Team. I've just had a lot of fun with it and thought it would be cool to bring it for one more episode. So looking at my opponent's team, it is Blastoise, Landorus with um, the Rillaboom. You have a an Entei, a, an Urshifu, and a Garchomp. So this is a little bit tricky due, just due to the fact that Thunderous and Garchomp will outspeed Regigigas, but I do really feel comfortable with, once again, the Weezing Gigas combo. I think it is uh, so strong, and it just does a lot of damage into most of my opponent's team. I think the big thing to be worried about is something like a Will-O-Wisp from Entei, or even a Scarf on it, because that it has been something that's very common. I think, what, in the back... Tapu Fini, I feel really good about. I think the only thing to worry about is it is going to be um, that Rillaboom and obviously uh, that Thunderous and then probably probably Rotom. Rotom has to worry about Blastoise, but I don't think Blastoise really can do much anyway. Uh, I think, what, it could be defensive. It could be Shell Smash variant. I know that when I used it, it primarily was... Uh, more of a support and taking advantage of the fact that not a lot of people expect fake out to get some early setup. It also could be... No. Okay, so we are going to see Blastoise and we're going to see Thunderous. So trying to figure out what is the best option. I do like immediately going for uh, a max strike. I think just the protect and then max strike onto... The Thunderous, they don't have anything that resists it, and I think getting it slower than Gigas the subsequent turn is what's going to be important, and there is no way that they're going to be able to pick up a knockout onto Weezing this turn. The fear, like I said, though, is if this is something like Support Thunderous, and they're able to get a Will-O-Wisp, I mean not a Will-O-Wisp, a Thunder Wave off into Regigigas and set up a big Shell Smash, because then, yeah, we would be slower. But, okay, so we are going to see a max, and I'm guessing from the fact that they went second, we're seeing a max on Blastoise, which I think really does further support my idea. Yep, okay, so they are going to bring up Blastoise, which is fine. We do have Tapu Fini in the back, so that's, we don't really have to worry about cannonade damage in the long run, but they are going to be able to get a pretty big uh, cannonade into me. So we're going to get the Protect off. Let's see if they are... Indeed, Prankster is Thunderous. They're slower than Gigas, which is actually very shocking to me. Um, yeah, that's actually really interesting, the fact that we are able to outspeed them. So I don't really know what they were going for, but I mean, I'm not complaining. We obviously do need to take this Cannonade, and then let's see how much it's going to do. Okay, so we are over half, but I think, what, after the Cannonade recoil, we won't be? Life Orb is a little bit tricky. Yeah, we're under half, which means that we can only take one more hit before we go down. So, or, I mean, we, we do have the option of Max Quake, depending on what they bring in, and we can go for something like uh, a Will-O-Wisp for extra chip damage. So they are going to bring out Rillaboom. So I feel comfortable just going for a... Oh, they could go for a Fake Out. That's probably what they're going to do. They're probably going to fake out into Weezing and then cannonade into it. So I'm going to actually go for... Uh, I think Max Strike. Yeah, Max Strike is fine because of the fact that we do have Rotom in the back. And as a result, um, yeah, as much damage as possible. They interestingly are not going to fake out into the the wheezing slot so we're going to be able to definitely pick up some damage with this sludge bomb and let's see how much that's going to do that's going to do a pretty sizable chunk uh, i'm actually not complaining about that damage we do get the poison which i also think is really big we're going to see the grassy glide into gigas and probably yep the second cannonade i would expect to go into gigas as well oh okay it's going to go into wheezing which i think that that's fine we do have the ability to bring out Rotom, and my opponent doesn't really have uh, a good answer to that right now. And especially with the Rillaboom 
so low. I think it's fine to leave in um, Gigas with the idea that we can hopefully get off something like um, an Ice Punch into the Rillaboom and finish it off. Because then we're pretty safe with Tapu Fini. But even still, like, Rillaboom doesn't like Rotom that much. And we'll be able to change the terrain, which is the most important part, to make it so they don't even have Grassy Glide. So worst case, we do just have the option of going for um, a Moonblast. So we are going to bring out Rotom. I think we just go for a Thunderbolt into Blastoise and not really take a chance with things. And then go for... Um, a, an, I, oh, we're still maxed. Go for a max hailstorm into the Rillaboom. So this is actually an okay position. They are going to go for a protect, which I think is smart. We do know that, yeah, Rotom's going to outspeed. Do we pick up the KO? We do. So that's really big. I don't know how much that crit mattered, but, uh, I mean, I feel pretty good. It was super low to begin with. And now we're going to be able to pick up this Hailstorm into the Rillaboom, which with the recoil and the poison, I mean, not with the recoil, with the, the hail damage and the poison should hopefully be able to pick up um, the knockout. And yeah, I mean, I talked about this a little bit yesterday that even though we don't have wheezing out, like Gigas still is able to do a lot of damage. Like it's not like that attack stat goes to zero. It's still is a, a sizable chunk so i think that that really makes um gigas such a strong option and now at this point oh and we live cute <laughs> so we're gonna have gigas to go for a giga impact which is always fun um and my opponent has one thing left so i don't want to say it's necessarily over yet it is garchomp so yeah i think with feeny in the back we're in a good situation because what you go for a rock slide Oh, mm. so still a little bit scary. I think we, yeah, because they have to go for a rock slide here. I think we just go for the safe protect. And then with Feeny out, we can reduce the amount of damage. I mean, they can't go for a, oh, interesting. So they go for a rock tomb, which lets us get off a, a big ice punch. This is times four. And it, it does a sizable amount of damage to the point where, yeah, Tapu Fini can very easily come in and go for the Moonblast, and now we can go from there. That is actually really interesting tech, though, that there is um, Rock Tomb on the Garchomp. It does, what, it lowers speed, so you can set up for something else, but I don't really know what you would go for. Maybe, maybe Thunderous. Maybe Thunderous is uh, adamant or modest and you're just trying to get a a much stronger position for that maybe i don't know or i mean yeah you get rock slide so i'm trying to figure out what what really the need would be for rock slide i mean uh, rock tomb over rock slide maybe they just i don't know like the damage but this should be pretty safe yeah i can't really see how a garchomp is going to be able to beat a tapu fini because even if you get rock rock tomb off it doesn't matter and we can protect and recover as needed. So I do want to see if they show us their team. Okay, so we don't get to see their team, unfortunately, but overall, I think a really good start. Reggie Gigas, Weezing, I think really underappreciated, but it, it just puts in so much work. So happy we're, we were able to get such a strong start. And yeah, let's just keep rocking and rolling and move right to the next game. All right, battle number two. So this is an interesting one. It is um, Metagross, Whimsicott, Charizard, with Landorus, Tapu Fini, and Raichu. So, do we have Fake Out on this team? I don't think so, right? What is... Yeah, why would we have Fake Out on this team? Uh, hmm. I actually don't know if I want to lead Weezing Gigas. Do I? I mean... Weezing and Gigas, I think, is very tempting. But the fear is if they do Whimsicott with Metagross and they set up a Tailwind. Because um, I would proc a policy, but ugh, it's such a strong lead into that. And I think, like, we have Rotom anyway. So Rotom isn't worried too, too much about that Metagross. And then 
probably yeah tapu fini in the back like what do you have damage wise into it we <laughs> i don't think we've brought regieleki out like at all but I don't, I think, yeah, I think Rotom is just too good against uh, Metagro. Oh, oh, I was going to say, oh, okay, oh, that is such a good point. Um, what The thing I was afraid of was I was like, oh, if we bring out Metagross, or if they do Metagross um, Whimsicott, the problem we have is we can't uh, lower its speed to have Weezing out speed and set up a Will-O-Wisp, but I forgot about the fact that, um, what is it called? that um it loses clear body that's what i'm trying to say okay so they are going to lead with raichu and the um whimsicott so i'm expecting what a tailwind and a nuzzle into wheezing i mean into gigas so i'm going to actually swap out to tapu fini and Ice Punch the Whimsicott? One of these has a, has the Focus Sash. I'm going to Ice Punch... I'm going to go for Ice Punch on Whimsicott. So what I'm thinking is we swap out, um, which is going to let us bring out the Feeny to stop something like a, um, a Nuzzle, and most people don't really expect the we the gigas not to max so i shouldn't really i don't expect to eat a fake out from this raichu we're gonna see a switcheroo which i mean great that i didn't max because yeah i mean that it's such an obvious kind of thing they're gonna go for the thunderbolt makes sense here comes the switcheroo uh which is hmm what now what do i bring out i bring out I guess I bring out Weezing. We know that we know that the Raichu has Thunderbolt, and we know that the okay, so we know that the Focus Sash is not on the Whimsicott as a result of a Jack Button. So we can what go for a Protect here and go for a Sludge Bomb onto Raichu. Right, because right now what I'm afraid of is switching out into. I mean, I guess I could have just switched out into Gigas. There really wasn't a reason reason for me to protect, but I expected them to target into the Feeny. So my thought process was, hey, I don't want to risk breaking the set. Oh, very smart. That was a really really good read, because now I can't. I can't live another hit, so I actually have to Moonblast this Raichu, and I'm going to switch out into Rotom. Yeah, this was a tricky spot. I actually think I should have led with... I don't think I should have led with um, Weezing. I think that was really risky. We are going to get an Encore into Tapu Fini. Yikes, this, this Whimsicott is causing a lot of trouble. They're going to, yep, go for that into uh, Rotom. It's not going to do much. Is Encore a multi-turn move? Hmm, that is tricky. I'm going to, yeah, I have to bring out uh, Regigigas this turn, which took quite a bit from the, uh, what's it called? From the Thunderbolt. So I'm just going to go for the Overheat, because I, I think once Raichu is gone... Oh, oh, this please don't be Venegross. Oh, very good lead, or very good switch. That was definitely a very, very good play on my opponent's part. But we do, we do get out Gigas. Uh, please miss the overheat. Gigas is, yeah, this is really, this is a really low, God, Whimsicott has the stupid life orb we do actually get some pretty sizable damage onto oh because of the crit <laughs> onto the tapu fini um i'm gonna actually stay in with gigas i'm gonna try and go for a giga impact onto tapu fini and i'm gonna switch out into my own 
Tapu Fini. And this is this is like a weird weird thing to say, but I'm honestly really tempted to max Weezing. Cause Sludge Bomb is super effective into Whimsicott and Tapu Fini. Um, it'll boost the damage output. God, that Whimsicott with Life Orb is frustrating. They probably are going to calm mind here. Oh, they're just going to go for a Muddy Water. Yeah, I mean, what? If we set up for... No, I mean, Weezing's so low. But it, it just has such good damage output. Because what? I expect, I expect Whimsicott to Tailwind this turn... I think it is, I mean, I think it's pretty stupid to max Weezing, but at the same time, like, I feel like we've done really well with this team, and I kind of just want to max Weezing anyway. It makes the most sense, right? We know they have Raichu, we know they have Feeny, we know that they have Whimsicott. Uh, they could have Metagross, but we do have things to deal with that in the back, and also boosting Tapu Feeny's special attack isn't, like, detrimental. So I'm going to actually... I'm going to go for it. I, what, I'm expecting, well, no, they can't even switch out. So this is, yeah, this is, a, I think, a really weird position for sure that I I really don't think my opponent saw coming. But at the same time, like, it, I feel like it makes sense, right? Weezing hits into two of my opponents for super effective, and I'm hoping that we can live, I don't expect them to double up. But, yeah, because they're going to go for a Tailwind here. I, what, maybe a Muddy Water? Yep, we're going to see the Muddy Water. Weezing will definitely be able to tank one more. And now, yeah, the accuracy drops a little bit, unfortunate. We do connect with the Max Ooze onto this Tapu Fini, which, oh, I wish that pick, picked up the knockout. That would have been, that would have been super, super clutch. But, yeah, now, what? Okay, so we put it in barrier range. And now we need to hit this Moonblast from Tapu Fini and take out the Whimsicott, which I'm hoping we do. Nice. Yeah, we're at plus one. So I actually, what, expect a double up into Weezing the subsequent turn? So let's see what they have in the back. Obviously, the big fear is Metagross, but Rotom kind of makes me feel a lot better about that situation. And yep, there is Metagross. So what we have to, I'm gonna protect Weezing this turn and go for a Muddy Water. Metagross doesn't have clear body right now, so it can't, um, what is it called? It cannot, or blah, because it doesn't have clear body, it can get an accuracy drop with uh, Muddy Water. So, yep, we're going to see the um, the Metagross Max, and what I'm expecting is Max Quake. So what I'm thinking is we sacrifice the last turn of Weezing's Max in order to bring out Rotom, so that way we have, uh, we avoid the second Max Quake to boost the special defense, and then hopefully we can set up from there. So, yep, okay, so we see the Ice Beam into Weezing. They're good. oh, smart. They're gonna Steel Spike into Tapu Fini. 149, what? <laughs> okay, so that wasn't supposed to happen. Um, that's bad. That's actually really bad because, oh, that's really bad. Weezing, yeah, because of neutralizing gas, Weezing makes it so Rotom doesn't have uh, Levitate. So they can actually go for another Max Quake into me, and I can't stop that. So we're going to get the Protect off. Let's see if we can pick up the Knockout onto Feeny. Okay, cool. They're going to... Uh, oh, and we, they miss with Weezing. They're going to Steel Spike into into Rotom. Interesting. Rotom doesn't take anything from that. And we're going to be able to get the special defense boost. The main, the main issue, though, 
um, is the fact that, what am I saying? The main issue is the fact that we still don't have levitate. So what I think is I might actually have to, I might have to double protect on Rotom. Yeah, I think, what? I need to get a double protect on Rotom to burn the Metagross with Weezing. So I need the targeting. So I need, I need Weezing to live a hit from Raichu. I need to get the double protect and I need to burn the Metagross. Uh, can I burn the Metagross? Wait, is Terrain still up? Hi, info. Okay, there is no Terrain up. Yeah. So I need to, like I said, I need to Will-O-Wisp into Metagross and I need to get this double protect on Rotom. They could go for a fake out. So that's actually what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping Raichu fake outs into Rotom. Because if we get, if we manage to get the burn onto Metagross and then lose Weezing, I feel really good about this end game. Because I think uh, Rotom should be able to solo it, especially given the fact that, let's see, do we, oh, huge. Okay, that's huge. Good start so far. We do see the fake out into the meta or into the Rotom. Great. We're going to see another Steel Spike into the Rotom as well. So this is a little bit weird. Um, I don't know why they're going for defense boosts unless they're body press. They could be, I mean, what, life or body press is the only thing, honestly, I could think of at this point as to why they're doing this. But, but their Tailwind is gone. So we do have a faster Rotom. So we can Sludge Bomb the Raichu and then overheat into the Metagross. And I think that that, we know that they don't have an Assault Vest and what? <laughs> okay, so they have a Surfing Raichu. We managed to live with both Rotom and Weezing. We're going to eat the Berry. So that's huge. 43 up to 81. Overheat connects, which is huge. Do we pick up the knockout onto Metagross? Great. We take it out. So, I mean, this actually isn't over if Metagross does not pick up the KO on Raichu because Raichu will be able to pick up the knockout. Oh, and yeah, what, I don't know why I'm worried. This Weezing is at plus two. So, yeah, I mean, super, super cool battle. I think the fact that we we maxed Weezing was pretty pretty funny and definitely not something you see every day and I don't I don't actually know if there are even I wasn't actually paying attention to to the health on it so I don't actually know if we have uh, max candy or Dynamax level on the Weezing but I think that's why especially for tournaments I always max everything with the idea that there is a <laughs> there's a weird situation for everything and, and this was one of them and it and it really paid off so, yeah, this is interesting. They're, they're Life Orb Metagross, and they had Earthquake. So I'm shocked. I'm actually really shocked that they did not go for Max Quake. I'm guessing they forgot Weezing's ability, because, like, yeah, they don't have... Um, what is it called? They don't have Body Press, which I don't even know if Metagross learns. Uh, eject Whimsicott with Encore... I think that's actually really cool support options of Encore and Switcheroo, because that Encore really did hurt me. There's, oh, Weakness Policy Charizard. So that's probably, that's probably what the um, Surf is for, with the idea that you proc the policy. If you have Sun out, it's not doing nearly as much, and you have the Lightning Rod to stop uh, the electric attacks. So that's really cool. Landorus, yep, with Assault Vest. And Feeny, ooh, cool, Citrus Berry Feeny. With Calm Mind, but no Protect. Uh, what is the spread on that? Oh, max special attack, max speed. And then finally, yeah, this Raichu. Nuzzle Surf, Fake Out Thunderbolt. Yeah, that's really cool. Especially, I love uh, surfing Pikachu and, and that joke and the fact that it's so legit now. But really great. Like I said, I think it was super cool that we managed to, to max Weezing. And next game, I'm going to check if it has a max Dynamax level. But yeah, let's play uh, one more and just keep rocking and, and move to the next one. All right, game number three. Let's quickly check Weezing. Uh, okay, good. <laughs> it does have the max Dynamax level. So looking at my opponent's team, it is Kingdra, Politoed, 
with Togekiss, Metagross, Rotom, and Urshifu. So that's pretty straightforward. Uh, I don't actually know Kingdra's base speed off the top of my head, but I think it should be 100, right? Or not 100. It should be less than 100. Kingdra. Kingdra Cerebi. Um What else is really good into my opponent? Kingdra's base 85. Perfect. Um, I like Regieleki a lot. I think Regieleki is a really good option here. Um, Urshifu's tempting. Urshifu's tempting because of, uh, of Metagross, but hard because of Togekiss. Tapu Fini... Mm, I'm going to go with Urshifu. I haven't really brought it. And um, I think it's a good option to have. I'm trying to think, what am I... The thing that I'm probably most afraid of is Parish Trap Politoed, with the idea that they uh, basically like feign a max, so I target into some sort of powerful threat like Kingdra. Okay, so we're gonna see we're gonna see Togekiss and Metagross, and what I can. What are the ch what are the chances that Togekiss is going to be sashed? I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go for this with the idea that even if you choose to follow me, that we'll be able to get the um what is it called the burn onto Metagross. The fear what is if they they yawn, but I I mean I can't I can't see Togekiss living a max strike like Regigigas just does too much damage. Yeah, the, the max on, what's it called, on Metagross makes a lot of sense, but, um, oh, oh, wow, I did not expect this. Okay, so this, this makes things a lot more interesting. So we're going to, we're going to get the max strike off what? They're going to Airstream? We do over half, which is really good, because I don't think they can match that damage onto uh, Regigigas. Now the question is, do we get the burn off onto Metagross? Will-O-Wisp, nice, is going to connect. I think we've been uh, really, really lucky with the accuracy from the wheezing this, this game. So, okay, so they're going to Airstream into Gigas, which is really great because we know we're going to be able to uh, outspeed. And now, what, we're going to take a Stomping Tantrum, most likely from... Oh. Um. So it's a special Metagross. Interesting. Um. That being said, do I? I'm gonna max strike. The Togekiss, once again, they should be faster at this point. Uh, wow, okay, I did not expect special Metagross. Or mix, mix support Metagross, where this bullet punch ended up helping them, or the burn ended up helping them because <laughs> they took less damage on their Togekiss. Luckily, it did not end up mattering because we live. Uh, still very scary. We do get the max strike off. Uh, we, got, we are going to be at minus one speed, which is uh, a little bit unfortunate because whatever, whatever they bring out will be uh, faster. And it could, what, it could be Kingdra? Kingdra is what I'm most afraid of because we are at risk of getting into a parish endgame, depending on what they bring out, because what, if they, did we, oh, we protected this turn, so what? Uh, I don't think that they, they would probably need to double up. Okay, so they bring out Rotom, 
I think we go for a taunt onto Rotom and just a max strike onto it as well. I don't expect us to live, but being able to what? Being able to get that on, I think, is really beneficial. We have gotten rid of their max, which I think is huge. Because then we have what? We have our Shifu in the back, which outspeeds their entire team. And we have um, Regieleki, which has another form of speed control. And they're not going to be able to Steel Beam. I thought you needed a terrain for that. that okay, that, I mean, that was really cool. I have <laughs> never seen the animation or knew... What does Steel Beam do? Okay, so that was not, that was cool. Uh, hmm. I think they want. I think we bring out Regieleki, and probably want to what pick up the knockout onto. I think we protect Weezing. We go for the Thunderbolt onto. Metagross, because I don't expect, because yeah, Rotom has to go for an attack this turn. We do get the Protect off. Do they have Protect on Metagross? They go for the Bullet Punch, trying to break a Sash, which is smart due to the um, burn. We're not taking that much. Thunderbolt picks up the Knockout, which is great, because we do still have uh, Weezing on the field, so we're taking reduced damage. They are going to overheat into Regieleki, which I think is fine if we get knocked out, because they are going to be at minus two special attack, and we do have uh, Weezing. Oh god, Weezing is super low. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Okay, so let's see what they have in the back, because now this is a little bit, a little bit tricky. Oh god, this is super tricky. Oh. Oh god, I actually don't think I don't think we can win this. Um We have to yeah, cuz even yeah, unless they're also banded and we win the speed tie. So we do win the speed tie, they're probably focus sash. Yep. They're focus sash and I think that will uh unfortunately close things out. Because, what, how can how can we win this? They, yeah, they're going to take us out because we have that. And then they can just Thunderbolt into, into Weezing to finish things off. So, definitely, I think today was really close. I feel like all of the games we've lost with this team have been, have been very, very close games. Where the big part of me losing was the fact that um, they had Icy Wind on Metagross, which was actually really a really big deal because that meant that they were able to maintain the speed control and that uh, threw things off and made it so when they brought out Rotom, they were able to outspeed and pick up the quick knockout. And yeah, even the other games also had some stuff like that. But I mean, this team has been a ton of fun to play. It is honestly, like I said, I love Regigigas Weezing. I love the fact that Weezing... As we saw, just like it does so much, and I think it's very uh, underrated as a Pokemon. And I, I was super glad to to finally, I guess, like live the dream of maxing something unconventional. But let's try and play something new tomorrow. Uh, I have been trying to work on this team for a while, but like I said, I've been shiny hunting it for God knows what reason, and that is the the limiting factor. But yeah, I think even if one of them isn't shiny, that's fine. And sometimes we just have to deal. So we'll play something new. But this has been uh, a ton of fun. Really recommend checking out the team if you haven't had a chance. But yeah, until next time, I hope all of you are wonderful and I'll see you then.